Hello everyone! Welcome to another teaching video of Jiggy Math. This is Miss Darlene. Today's lesson is all about dividing a whole number by 10, 100, 1000, and their multiples. In this lesson, students will be able to identify patterns and use procedures in division to divide a whole number by 10, 100, 1000, and their multiples. To begin with, let's take a look at these questions. What is 2 times 3? What about 4 times 5? And 6 times 4? The answers are 6, 20, and 24. So what will happen if we divide these products by one of these factors, like 6 divided by 3, 20 divided by 5, and 24 divided by 4? What do we get? That's correct. We will get the remaining factor. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, 20 divided by 5 is 4, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. So what do you observe about the relationship of multiplication and division? Based on this, we can say that division is the inverse of multiplication. In the previous lesson, we talked about how to multiply whole numbers by multiples of 10. This is a useful skill for our new lesson. So let's have a short review first. Suppose we want to multiply 56 by 10, what answer will we get? It is a useful strategy to focus on non-zero numbers first. So if we want to multiply 56 times 10, it's the same as 56 times 1 will give us 56 and then we append 1 zero at the end. So if we have this example, 56 times 100, focus on the non-zeros, 56 times 1 is 56 with two zeros at the end, or simply 5,600. So multiplying 56 by 1,000 will give us 56 with three zeros at the end, or simply 56,000. Do you see the pattern now? Let's have another example. Let's say we want to multiply 12 times 30. 12 times 30 is the same as 3 tenths. So we can focus first on the non-zero. So 12 times 3 is 36 and then we append 1 zero at the end. Multiplying 12 by 300 is the same as 36 with two zeros at the end. So the answer is 3,600. And the last example, 12 times 3,000 is the same as 36 with three zeros at the end or simply 36,000. So what is actually happening when we multiply a number by a multiple of 10? In this example, 138 times 10, we can answer this by using the place value chart. And here, when we multiply these two numbers, the place value of each digit actually moves one place to the left like this. And the last step would be adding a zero in the ones place. So 138 times 10, the answer is 1380. So let's talk about division this time. What is the value of 430 divided by 10? We can use the same strategy. However, since we learned that division is the inverse of multiplication, 
we'll do the opposite way. So this time around, we will move the place value of each digit in the number one place to the right like this. So the answer is 43. Let's have another example. 680 divided by 10. Again, let's move the place value of each digit one place to the right. So 680 divided by 10 will give us 68. So this time, let's try to simplify the process. If we want to divide 6,280 divided by 10, it's the same as chopping off the zeros in the sentence. So if we chop off one zero here, we'll do the same thing here. So it will give us 628. So the quotient of 6,280 divided by 10 is equal to 628. This time, let's try answering a bigger number, like 640 divided by 80. Here, this time, we can break the number apart to give us the answer. So 80 is the same as 8 tenths. So 640 divided by 10 would be easier to do first. And then later on, we can divide this by 8. So getting the quotient of the 2 will give us 64 divided by 8. And therefore, the final answer is 8. Another example, 720 divided by 80. Again, let's break this number apart. 80 is the same as 8 tenths. So it will be easier if we divide 720 by 10 first. And then later on, divide it again by 8. So getting the quotient of these two will give us 72 divided by 8, and the final answer would be 9. Let's try answering more examples. 1,240 divided by 40. 40 can be broken down by saying that this is the same as 4 tenths. So it's easier if we'll divide 1,240 by 10 by 4. And this will give us 31. Last example. 6,360 divided by 30. First, we'll divide it by 10 and then divide again by 3. So 6,360 divided by 10 is 636 divided by 3. The answer is 212. Remember, break the numbers apart to help you divide by tens. Remember the place value chart that we used earlier? We can also use this when we multiply whole number by a hundred and by a thousand. So let's try dividing 14,600 by 100. We will move each place value of each digit in the number two places to the right like this. Do you notice that the zeros disappeared? So, 14,600 divided by 100 is the same as 146. Another example, 263,000 divided by 1,000. Let's move the place value of each digit in the number three places to the right, like this. So the final answer would be 263.
Moving on. One last example to ensure that you know how to do this. 2,800 divided by 400. It is the same as four hundreds. So, it will be easier if you will divide 2,800 by 100 first. And then later on, divide it again by 4. So, getting the quotient of these two will give us... 28 divided by 4. And the final answer would be 7. Lastly, 3,600 divided by 400. This can be broken down by, by dividing 3,600 by 100 and then by 4. So... The answer here will have 36 divided by 4. The answer is 9. I'm sure at this time you can answer your own noun. 35,000 divided by 7,000 is equal to 5. 56,000 divided by 7,000 is equal to 8. Let us simplify the process now. 7,800 divided by 300. It's the same as chopping off some zeros here and there. So 78 divided by 3 will give us 26. So therefore, the answer to 7,800 divided by 300 is equal to 26. Next example. 68,000 divided by 4,000. Chop of some zeros here. Another set of three zeros there. Please take note that when you chop off three zeros in your divisor, you will also do the same thing in your dividend. So 68 divided by 4 is equal to 17. Next one, 108,000 divided by 9,000. It's the same as... Chopping off the three zeros here and the three zeros there. So 108 divided by 9 is equal to 12. Therefore, 108,000 divided by 9,000 is simply 12. This concludes our lesson about dividing whole numbers by 10, 100, 1,000, and their multiples.